Welcome to Yellow's official starter guide to FNF animation. In this video, you'll see the following. How to set up a character, how to animate the character, and how to put it together in a cohesive FNF gotcha animation video. The apps I use are Gotcha Club, Procreate, A Light Motion Premium, and Kind Master Pro. Let's begin. Open Gotcha Club. We're going to screenshot five poses of the selected character. Idle, left, right, down, and up. A reminder that this is a basic FNF animation, meaning we will not be separating body parts. Here is a comparison. Screenshot five poses. Try your best to make the character be tilting in the direction of the pose you're doing. Now that we have five poses, we're going to edit them in Procreate. Create a canvas off your screen size and insert all five of your screenshots into the same drawing. Don't worry about the black parts that may be on the outside. Now, we're going to crop the canvas to get rid of that extra black part. Be sure that the dimensions you set for length and width are equal to each other, as it is essential that the canvas is square. Make sure when you crop, none of the screenshots are getting cropped with it. It's time to get rid of the plain color background. Using your automatic selector tool, select any part of all five of your screenshots that is not a part of your character. Be sure to get every last bit. Now, we need to adjust the poses. An important rule to keep in mind is that you should try not to move around the character's weight distribution that much. Keep the feet, or at least one foot, in generally the same place. This makes it look more natural. We will now be animating the idol. Please follow closely. I will try to explain it with this AI, but you will need to follow along visually. After exporting your idle pose as a PNG, open a light motion and create a new project with a one-to-one -one canvas and a green background. Now insert your idle image. A light motion auto sets each image to two seconds, but cut it down to one as we do not need the extra second. Go into edit shape and set your keyframes at these points. 0, 6, and 16. At 6 or the middle keyframe, we're going to squash the character slightly. On the way down, the easing chart looks like this. On the way up, it looks like that. Go into the Move tab and adjust the character so the feet line up in all the keyframes. Use the same easing charts as I just showed you. We're going to do a slight tilt to get that nodding effect. Adjust your pivot point to the character foot and rotate it very slightly, one to two degrees at most. Always, always, always keep the same keyframes for your three diamonds, zero, six, and 16. For only the tilt, the easing chart on the way up looks like this. This part is very important, so please listen. Do not export as a video. Instead, select the option Export Current Frame as PNG. Export the frames 06, 09, 12, and 16. 
This makes the editing process not only easier, but much cuter. These concepts will reoccur throughout the animation process, and I will no longer explain them in detail to shorten the duration of the video. Screenshot this and keep it at hand as we continue. Now we will be animating the right pose. Export your PNG image of the right pose from Procreate. Open a light motion and insert your image into a different project than your idol. Then cut it down to one second. For the left and right poses, we're going to be tilting the character. Add in your keyframes in the Tilt tab at the ones you screenshotted earlier. Once again, adjust your pivot point to the foot of the character, and at the 0-6 keyframe, rotate it to the right by 1, 3 degrees. I did 2 degrees. For the easing charts, use these two for on the way down and on the way up. We'll also add a skew function. Put in the keyframes for the skew tab and move the top bar to negative one degrees. Use these two easing charts for the skew tab. Finally, export as PNG image on the frames you screenshotted earlier. Let's animate the left pose. The process is extremely similar to the right pose. Do all of that stuff about inserting your image in a light motion, and also set your pivot point. Now, instead of tilting to the right like you did for the last one, let's tilt towards the left. Again, tilt it from one to three degrees. I did two degrees. The charts are exactly the same for the tilt function in the right one. I'll still show them here for your convenience. Skew your character to the left this time by around one degree. Once again, the easing charts for the skew tab are the same as the right pose. Export those four frames again, 0, 06, 0, 09, 12, and 16. Try to remember them. The up animation is similar to the idle, but you stretch it instead of squish it. I'll demonstrate what I mean. For now, Export and insert your image, and set your pivot point. Go into the Edit Shape tab again, and this time on the 06 keyframe, we're going to make the Y larger and make X smaller. Use the first set of easing charts for the Edit Shape tab. I'm still displaying them for you, don't worry. Like the idol, editing the shape displaces the character feet. Use the Move tab to make sure the feet stay on the same level. Use the easing charts I showed you a few seconds ago for the Move tab. This is optional, but for a cute effect, you can make the character tilt back very slightly for the up pose. Set your keyframes and rotate the middle one by only one degree backwards. Do not overdo it, or it will look like the left pose instead of an up pose. Now, just export your up pose exactly like how we've been doing it before. Way to go! You're on your last pose. The down pose is literally exactly like the idle pose. If you've been following the tutorial, you've gotten a pretty good idea of what to do. Just start by, you guessed it. Input your character and set your pivot point. Just like the idle, plant your three keyframes in Edit Image and squash your character on the 06 keyframe. It should squash slightly more than the idle, but that doesn't matter too much. In the Move tab, line up the feet again. Just like the idle, go into the Tilt tab and tilt the character very slightly on the 06 keyframe. One degree to the right will suffice. Make sure you use the same easing charts that you did for the idle. Now we can export and prepare ourselves to start putting everything together. If you uploaded everything in the exact order that I told you to, your camera roll will now look something like this. It's time to put everything together in Kine Master. But first, we need to prep your software. Open the Kine Master app. 
tap Create a New Project and set your aspect ratio to a square. This will ensure all of your photos stay the same size. Open Advanced and check your default photo duration. For maximum efficiency, the default photo duration needs to be set at 0.1, the minimum length. KineMaster defaults this to 3 or 4 seconds, so definitely make sure you check it and fix it if needed. Because we don't want to input the four idle pictures over and over again, we are going to make an idle video to make it easier for us to put everything together. By exporting everything in the order I told you to, KineMaster will naturally display your photos in a very organized manner. Scope out your idol and input the four pictures in order from right to left. This will depend on the beat of the song you're trying to match to. But for the song I'm using, you need two extra photos to stay approximately on the beat of the song. Export the video, but return back to the project and input the video you just exported back into the project a few times. Usually, I repeat it to get to around three seconds. Save the final video. Well done. You have now prepared your idol. Head back to the dashboard and make another project with the same things we set up in the idol project. This is the project where you will be putting everything together in Are you excited to see the results of your animation? Add in a video recording of the song you are taking the arrows from. Use the crop tool to crop the FNF video to only the arrows you will be using. For this, I will be following the arrows of Miku.
I hope your animation turned out amazing, but let's make it even better with a few optional steps. These are effects that I use to make my videos look polished. Open up a new project with a white background and throw in the video you just exported from Kind Master. Go to Effects and find Chroma Key to basically get rid of the background. You should zoom in and adjust the threshold until all the green specks are removed from the outline. Go back to Effects and find the effect called Sharpen. This effect basically carries the quality on all my videos. Now we're going to create a cool shadow effect thing. Duplicate your green screen layer. On the duped layer, go to Effects again and search for Solid Color. Change the color from the default neon blue to this color code, 6A0C28. It should look like a maroon pinkish red. Now go to Blending and Opacity, and in the Contrast category, select Overlay. Move the layer so the tomato part covers about half of the face. Reduce the opacity so that your character does not look like a tomato. 50% to 70% is usually the range I have. For this one, I did 62%. Now just to be cool, we're going to do a reflection thing. Duplicate the original layer and flip it vertically. Move it down and align the reflected feet with the original feet. Lower the opacity. Then, go to Effects, find Saturation and Vibrance, and crank the saturation up to the maximum amount. Congratulations, you have finished Yellow's tutorial. If you animated with this video, feel free to join this fake collab in celebration.